Welcome to Cloudonaut Plus, your source for exclusive videos and online events for AWS professionals. My name is Andreas and today we are writing some Terraform code together. I want to demonstrate three different ways to specify an IAM policy with Terraform. And you know, specifying IAM policies is what we have to do when creating any AWS infrastructure. So that's definitely an important topic. Let's have a look at the source code. So this is my main TF file, my main Terraform file. And what I've prepared so far is I've configured the provider Terraform and I've also defined an S3 bucket. So because that is what I will ref reference in my IAM policies. So let's assume we now need to create an IAM policy to grant, for example, an IAM role access to list all the objects in the bucket and also to get and write data to the bucket. So that's our goal. So how can we achieve that? So first of all, the first way I did create IAM policies with Terraform is this. So I'm creating an IAM policy resource. Um, uh, I've just named it inline for here. And then I defined the policy here inline. So this is basically the syntax that you can just insert any data, in this case, JSON, uh, into um, the parameter here. So that is uh, how I've been doing it uh, for quite some time. So what we need to add here is we need S3 uh, list bucket. Effect allow is fine. Um, maybe we should um, have it in here. And then we need to reference the resource. Uh, so then this is AWS S3 um, bucket <clears throat> example.arn. So this is referencing the Amazon resource name of the bucket. And uh, we need to copy that. Um, and then we do uh, get object to read data and the um, put object to write data to the bucket. And important here, the resource aren't changes. So this references all the objects in the bucket. Okay, so this is one way to define an IAM policy. Uh, so let me quickly um, apply that. Terraform apply. So let's quickly go through that. Let's see if that actually works or if I have any issues in my um, policy. And it creates the inline policy and that worked fine. Okay, so that's one way to define an IAM policy. But I promised you three different options. <laughs> so the next one. Um, so what is the problem with this? So I would say, first of all, it doesn't look <laughs> it doesn't look very well, right? So you have JSON, Terraform, language all mixed together. Uh, it's a little bit clumsy. Also, your indention breaks a little bit. So yeah, not not too nice to have a look at. I promised you three options. Here is the second one. So um, the second one uses JSON and code. So this is a built-in Terraform function that you can use. And basically, it translates the Terraform syntax to a JSON string later. Uh, I think that is uh, quite helpful because you don't need to specify that string. Uh, you can specify the JSON in here. Uh, so this is cool. Uh, it feels, feels more natural, I would say. So what we have is version statement already in here, effect allow, and now we need uh, our actions. So let's do that. Um, let me... Um, create a list here and the thing is um, I need the AWS a three bucket example on in here and ah sorry no uh, I need the uh, sorry s3 list bucket and then we have resource and here we have uh, the thing we have the list um, come on we have the list of the the resources which is the bucket okay and now uh, i need to copy that because we do not only need that we also have the get object action as well as the uh, put object action so let's add this here and then we need the resource uh, in the format um, that includes the um the object keys or the object arms better to say uh, so now this is the policy that 
uh, creates the same, uh, this is the resource in Terraform that creates the same IAM policy than we have before. But instead of having that JSON string in line, we have more, more of a Terraform uh, syntax in here, which I like um, basically a lot. So let's do Terraform apply one more time, um, just to make sure that this policy gets created correctly. Um, so let's see what's going on. So create a new policy and um, yeah, that worked as well. Okay, so now we have two, two policies identically, but with different uh, Terraform syntax. Okay, so let's discuss the third option, which I basically prefer, and I will show you why in a second. The third option uh, uses a data uh, resource, which is called um, AWS IAM policy document. And so this is not a resource that actually gets created in your account, it's just a data uh, structure within Terraform. You know, I might know that from other uh, things. And what you can do is we can define IAM policies within that um, policy document. So that's really a cool thing. And we need also a resource, the IAM policy resource. And basically what happens here is um, the policy here references the data uh, structure, so data AWS IAM policy document dot example dot JSON, and basically this will render the JSON and put it in uh, to this policy attribute. So that's how it works. Um, I've pre-populated that a little bit. So um, the difference here is, as you can see, we are not just doing a JSON encode, but we have really a, a dedicated resource in Terraform for an IAM policy document, uh, which I find quite interesting. So again, the list bucket is the action and we have the resources um, that we need to specify in here. So let's do that. Um, and the resource is again the AWS S3 bucket example.arn. Um, so that's, that's one thing, that's the one statement that we need. And then I just copy the statement. We can add multiple statements here. So we have uh, also get object and um, put object and the um, the resource um, is then pointing to the needs to point as well to the um, key object arn so let's do that <clears throat> okay so now we have basically the same so it doesn't look too different to what I showed you with the JSON encode example. And basically the result is also the same. So let's quickly do that. Uh, let me do another Terraform apply. Um, this will just create a third IAM policy with the identical exam uh, policy at the end. Um, so let's do that. And um, what's the benefit of all of that? So the, the IAM policy document compared to the JSON encode approach, it looks very similar. It's also Terraform syntax. Um, but what's the thing here is, um, let me introduce uh, two typos to this main TF file. So let's say, I don't know, we have statement without the T and uh, that's within the policy document resource. And let, let, let me do this, uh, let me do that. Uh, what I do now is Terraform validate. And Terraform validate says, oh, this is not correct. Statement is nothing I know about. So uh, this, this is not correct. You need to fix that. So I'm to statement and now this works again. So that's cool. So if I do the same thing in my JSON encode example, I can also remove the T here. The problem is Terraform does not know. Uh, it doesn't check, it doesn't validate that thing. It's just a JSON structure. So basically the cool thing um, about the data I am policy document thing is that Terraform is now able to validate the policy that you specify, at least from a structural perspective, and that avoids failures uh, before you apply or even where it go through the pipeline and stuff. So that's why I really like um, this way to define IAM policies in Terraform. So yeah, so this is really cool. So you will find all the example code uh, in the show notes, so you can check it out and copy it from there. I highly recommend to use this third option um, whenever you have to define IAM policies within your Terraform code. You can reach out to us and the community about this topic or any other AWS related topic. Visit community.cloudonaut.io and ask your question. 
We are looking forward to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate this video if you learned something new. And also, your feedback is very important to us to be able to produce relevant videos for you. So reach out to us via email, Twitter, the community, and let us know what you think about this video. We are back in one week. Thanks a lot for your support. Bye.